And one of my favorite ingredients is the mighty squash. It is a beautiful sweet flavor that goes brilliantly in soups and that's exactly what I'm gonna make for you today. A squash, coconut and chili soup. It is so simple and it starts off by peeling this bad boy. Squash can be a little bit tricky to peel, but the key thing to remember is to break it down. So take off the top, take off the bottom, and then split it in the center. And then those two parts can easily be peeled. Now you can do this with a sharp knife like I'm doing, or you could use a potato peeler like this. So once you've got all the peel off your beautiful squash, split the bottom part in half. Just scrape out all that interior and all I'm looking for is that nice smooth flesh. So cut that squash up into nice hefty chunks. Once all that squash is nicely chopped up, tumble it out into a roasting tin. Time to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and then sprigs of thyme. Just pinch off little bits like that and it just adds wonderful flavor in here. Season it up with some sea salt and black pepper. And then get your hands in there and give it all a good toss. Now these go into the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes, just until they're nice and tender. And I do have some, which I have prepared already. They're ready to rock. As you can see, nice and tender, little charred bits on the outside there, very, very nice. So set them aside. And the base of any good soup starts off with an onion. And my onion that I'm going to use today is a red onion. Once you have those red onions nice and finely chopped, get the heat on your pan. And I'm gonna fry these off in a nice hot pan with just a touch of olive oil. Ooh, yeah. Red onion goes in and all over the counter, but that's fine. So get that in and we're frying that off for about five minutes, just until it becomes nice and tender. And the other little ingredient at this point to add in is some of those beautiful chili flakes. This is where the heat comes from. So about a good pinch of this goes in here. Oh yes. And a little bit extra if you're feeling dangerous. The great thing about this soup is that the hardest part is roasting off the squash. Once you have it cooked, literally it all comes together in about five to 10 minutes. Really, really simple. The onions are nice and tender now, so I'm just gonna grab my squash and just pick one at a time straight in here. Ooh, they're still a little bit hot. Ah, ah. You have to do this with, um, with full faith that you're not gonna burn your fingers. And once that squash is in there, start getting your liquids in. So I have some stock, some vegetable stock. You could use chicken stock if you want, and just get that in there. In with the stock is a little bit of coconut milk and this is where the secret of this soup comes alive. We've got wonderful sweetness and wonderful creaminess from it. It is so worth using. You just need to bring this up to a simmering point and once it's come to the boil, everything is ready to go and blitz it till it's smooth. Oh yes. This is my favorite part about these soups is the minute you get your stick blender in there, look at that velvety, creamy texture you've got. It's really beautiful and the color, oh the color. Now, the one thing we haven't done at this point, which is really important when you're making a soup, is to season up that soup. So a bit of sea salt in there, a little bit extra, I think, and then some black pepper. Now, serve this soup up into a nice big bowl. And there's lots of different things you could serve over the top here. You could serve some smoked crispy pancetta, which is absolutely gorgeous. Or just like what I'm going to do, is sprinkle it with a little bit of toasted pumpkin seeds and just toast them over the top, very, very nice. Adds a little bit of crunch, adds a little bit of texture, that toastiness gives a wonderful smokiness. And then I like a little bit of extra spice. So just sprinkle on that little bit of chili flake over the top. And then for a final little flourish, just pour a tiny bit extra of that coconut milk. Now, all that is left to do is to taste some of this beautiful soup. Get some of that wonderful toasted pumpkin seeds, some of that lovely chili in there, and bottoms up. Mm. You know what? That is a bowl of instant comfort food. It's got sweetness, it's got creaminess, it's got that wonderful hit of chili and that coconut milk just takes it to another level. 
This is a recipe I want you to try. It is so, so simple. The recipe is in the box below. Click like, go on, you know you want to. And of course, share this with all your wonderful friends. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what recipes you want to see and I will see you soon. Mm -mm.